Hi, you guys. This time, I'm going to show you what took me seven hours to figure out. I have an old-fashioned VCR player down here that I bought in 2001. Up here, I got a DVD player. And it can also dub off a television that I bought in 2007. Here is the digital converter box, which has been a pain in the neck for me. And then up here is that old-fashioned analog television set, which is not compatible with digital. So I had to get a converter box now from Bright House Networks. Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm able to dub off of this using this digital converter box. I had to rewire everything. Wiring is really important. I have, um, first of all, I have the audio-visual cables, and they're, um, they have yellow, white, and red ends. Okay, I've got one going out from the VCR up to the television set. You can see it right up there. Okay, so you want an audio-visual cable going out from your old-fashioned VCR, going straight up. And in my televisions, the in, the in, the in part is right up here, so it's going right up, right in there. Audio visual cables going out from the VCR box into your television set, okay. And then you just match the, the red for for video in here. I got a yellow one going into the yellow socket. And that's that's the video. Then I got the white one, the blue, white one matched into the. Um, Looks like kind of looks white or yellow, but it says, but it will. It's I got it set up there. Okay, now you need video audio, audio cables going out from your VCR. You look in the back, going out from your VCR, and then in into your uh, not not out from your DVD player. Excuse me, out from the DVD player, then in to your VCR. And if you look at the back, you can figure out which ones are out and in. And of course, you match up the yellow with yellow, the red with red, and white with white. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, what's going to happen is when you play a VCR down here, you're going to be dubbing off the picture that comes out of your DVD box. <laughs> Anyways, and like you can just and you can watch television through the VCR box because you've got the audio video lines connected up to the television. So basically think of this down here as like an extension of your television set. Okay, now this is important. You got the cable line coming. Here's this is my um surge protection. You got the cable line coming in from the cable box going into the surge protection right here. Okay? And then you got it going out. Okay. Important you want this cable line to go right into your digital converter box right here. So where it says cable in, the cable line is going in. I don't have a very good cameras. So the cable line goes in there. Then where it says t out to TV, the, the cable line going out to TV it doesn't go to your TV. It must go into your VCR. The reason for this is because these old this old fashioned VCR, which I bought in 2001, cannot handle digital signals. So you need this the purpose of this digital um, converter box is to convert the digital to analog signals for the old-fashioned equipment that can't handle the digital. So because this 2001 VCR cannot handle um, digital, you need the analog signal to come into the DV, uh, VCR. So in the digital converter box right here, you got the um, the cable line in, and then you got a cable line the cable line in coming from the wall. Then you got the cable line out going to TV or actually to your VCR. Okay, then from your VCR, you want a cable line that goes um, out to your DVD player. Okay, and then and then it goes in, in into the in slot here for your DVD player. Then from your DVD player, you want a cable line going out up to your television set. My hookup is for my television set is in the back. So you've got an out from the DVR in to the television set. So that's how you set up your cable lines. So what's going to happen is like last night I dubbed a Robin Williams special. Um, now this is important. You want to turn okay you want to make sure you want to make sure the DVD players on 
the VCR is on and your television is on and your digital converter box needs to be on. Okay, with my digital converter box, it, let me just turn it on here. Okay, oh, it's saying it's, I lost my signal. Okay, I'm going to have to call Bright House and get the signal reinstated. So I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Okay, we are back. I had to call Bright House and get the signal. When you look at your this this digital converter box, which I got from Bright House, you got to have a green solid light up on front when you hit um, when you hit this button right here on the. Um, this is the uh, remote that goes with the digital converter box. When you hit this DTA or when you hit the power button, okay. It needs to be see there it was red and when it's red that means you're not you don't have a connection you hit the DTA button and you got a green solid light and then as you can see I'm getting some programming up here okay as you can see what's happening is the cable lines going into the surge protection then out from the surge protection into your VCR box out from your VCR box into your DVD player out from your DVD player into your television set okay the video sound lines, which are these 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 cables right here, which have like red, yellow, yellow and white ends, okay? You want them to go um, out from your VCR straight up to your television's in, so in sockets, okay? Then you also want video sound lines going out from the DVD player into your VCR. Okay, now... I actually have a um, um, let me, I'm gonna turn this off uh, a VCR in here which I dubbed last night. I'm gonna show you how I did that. Okay, this is it's coming out. This is the old-fashioned video cassette. Okay, I have it, it uh, that I dubbed. And if you have an old video cassette player, you just put tape right over that section right there. See see where I put tape? Then you can use it to dub over this little square. Uh huh. Right there. Okay. And then you can dub off of it. Okay, so you're going to put it in here. Put it in there. It's going in. And um, make sure you got power on. Okay. Your television set is on. You, you need DVD power on, too, because these are all connected to each other. So all of these need to be on for the dubbing to work. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and um, let's, let's see how it's set up here. Okay, I, you want it on AV mode. You, you see this here on the remote? You got the input. Um, you do not want the VCR light on on your VCR. You want it on AV mode. So you first turn off your, put it on TV for VCR. You don't want the VCR light on. You want TV on. You want it to be in the TV mode. And then for input, you want it to be in the AV mode. Okay, right up here for your television remote, you, you're going to be dealing with input a lot with this. Okay, right there is your, is your television. Then right over here, you want it on input. Okay, it's going to set it up on the screen. You want it to say input on your television screen. Okay, all right. And then you got your um, DVD player on, and then you got your uh, VCR on. But it's on TV mode, not VCR mode. Now with input, you want it to go into the A A V mode. I believe that's it. Okay. You know, you know you have it right when you look on your television remote and you hit input and you get a picture both times. So you got okay, you got a picture coming there. And then this input picture is actually coming in through your DVD. Okay. Oh, no, no, excuse me, through your v VCR because you got the video sound line connected. Okay, so you're connected. You see that here? You hit input twice on your on your television remote, and you should get a picture each time, then you know you're connected right. Okay, that's straight TV input. This is what's coming in from your v through your VCR. Okay, so you're set up right. Now, um, the next thing you do is you... Uh, I'm going to ignore that phone. I just called Bright House. They probably want a quality assurance control. I'm just ignore that. Okay. Now, you've got you've, you've got your VCR in here. You should be able to play it. Um, hold on. I think if you switch the mode here. 
Do I have a VCR in that? Yep. Yeah. Wonder why it isn't playing. <laughs> Maybe oh I think I may be at the end of it. That could be the problem. Let's rewind it. Okay. Rewind it. Yeah, it's not playing because it's at the end. I gotta rewind it. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just if it should be able to play if you have it set up like I said there. Okay, there it is. There's the, the uh, dub I made of Robin Williams last night. I was even able to use timer. Okay, so if you've got it set on, on input and AV mode through your um, VCR, then you can go ahead and... Uh, what you do, you don't, you don't need to worry about setting the channels on your uh, VCR. Just make sure you have your channels set on your DVD. Okay, so what you would do, let me just turn this off right now. Okay, there's, you can't see the picture up there real good. You would go to setup, okay, a setup, then you scroll down to where it says channel, and then set your channels on your auto channel preset. You can't see it up there. Then you hit okay, and then it's auto setting. My channels are already set, but if you don't have your channel set on your DVD player, then you're not going to be able to dub. But what I found out is you don't have to worry about having the channel set on the VCR. That was I don't to I don't completely get it. But as long as your channels are set up on your DVD recorder, you are able to dub um, onto uh, onto a video cassette in your VCR. Apparently, the connection going from the 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 uh, you're actually dubbing a picture that must be going through your DVD recorder. So as long as you got cable set up, the, the the video cable line, video sound line set up as you said, you can get the picture off of the channels that your television views through the DVD player, and they will be dubbed onto the VCR. I don't know if that makes any sense. It took me forever. I was all hung up because I kept trying to get the channels to set on the VCR. And apparently the digital signal is not compatible with these old-fashioned uh, DVD players. So if you want to dub, the picture is going to be coming through the um, channels on the DVD. So as long as you got your channel set on your DVD recorder, you don't need to worry about setting the channels on the VCR. As long as you've got it hooked up the way I said. And then once you got your channel set, and then when you look up at your television and you hit input on your uh, remote, you're going to see, you hit input once and then you hit input again, you're going to see pictures both times. You'll see your television picture, then your input picture. And then you know you're set up right. Okay? And so as long as you got your channel set through the DVD, you're able to dub through the VCR. I know this is kind of confusing, but um, it took me seven hours to figure this out. Okay? And then you just go ahead and follow the instructions on your VCR for how to dub and how to use your timer recording and everything. Though I found with timer recording um, for the channel you use AV. Okay. You uh, you don't, you, see, you have to make some adjustments but you'll figure it out by playing around. So that's basically it folks. I know this isn't a very good explanation but I went online and hoped somebody would have something and I couldn't find anything. So I hope this will help somebody who's got one of these old-fashioned VCRs and you don't know how to deal with it with the digital converter box and that's how you do it. So you don't need to worry about setting channels on your VCR. You set them on your DVD, play, DVD player. Make sure you have the cord set, the cable in and out set up like I said in the video and sound set up like I said and it'll work. You, you get the pictures through the DVD. So don't worry about setting channels on your VCR. You set them on the DVD and then it'll work through your VCR if you, as long as you've got the video sound lines connected, like I said. Uh, I know it's a confusing mess, but at least it's better than nothing. I couldn't find anything about this online.